Dr. Yasser Taufik, Dr. Mohammed El Deeb, Dr. Imad Elwi, Behaviorism, Cognitivism, Constructivism, a paradigm for teaching and learning. Learning theories allow teachers to better understand the process of learning. Together with the use of technology, learn theories have made a significant impact in the classroom. There are many learning paradigms, however, behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism will be the focus for this lesson. Behaviorism I am concerned about the classroom management, I needs help. I can't get my students to behave properly. Why don't you use behaviorism to help shape appropriate student behavior? Behaviorism is a learning theory based on the idea that behavior can be controlled or modified based on the antecedents and consequences of a behavior. For example in the classroom behavior will only occur if given the right environment or antecedent the behavior is more or less likely to reoccur based on the reinforcement. Behaviorism is often used for shaping classroom behavior and helping students earn basic facts and skills. An example is students who complete all homework this week don't have to take the quiz on. Another example students who arrive late will receive detention. Let's talk about cognitivism. I am concerned about teaching long division. Most of my students can't seem to understand the concept and how to do it. Why don't you use cognitivism to help you teach a difficult subject like long division? For example in classroom, instruction should be organized in sequence and presented in a manner that is understandable and meaningful to the learner. Cognitivism is often used in developing classroom lessons and helping students learn higher order thinking skills. Common examples include starting on lesson with a new instrument to create interest or activating prior knowledge by beginning a lesson with the review quiz or chunking information into comprehensible and digestible parts using graphic organizers to help structure and relate content. Constructivism I am having difficulty engaging my students in learning about resource sustainability. The current curriculum doesn't build communication and collaboration skills. I feel my students are passive participant in the learning process. Why don't you use constructivism to help transform your teaching so that students are actively engaged with problem solving in meaningful context? Constructivism is a learning theory that equates learning with creating meaning from experience. Learning is more meaningful to students when they are able to interact. Constructivism can help engage and motivate your students by making them take on a more active role in the learning process. Learning is more meaningful to students when they are able to interact with a problem or concept. Common examples of constructivism include role-playing, simulating a historical event or time, debating controversial current event issues and topics, 